Hi guys, today I'm doing a video to review this little miniature orchid that I got from Trader Joe's. At a first glance, it may just look like any other miniature mini orchid Phalaenopsis out there that you can get at a grocery store. And for Trader Joe's miniature orchid, I pay $6 for it, so plus tax, it comes to about $6.50. So um, for orchid hobbyists to get started, um, it's a very good price for, for people to get started. Um, I have grown orchids before, um, but because I live in New York City, uh, my place is pretty small. I don't have a lot of growing space, so miniature orchids tend to work really well for me. Um, okay, back to this orchid. It's regular orchid, nothing special, but I still love them. At a first glance, they do look pretty normal, but if you look closer, for $6.99, I actually have two orchids in a single pot. I have gotten miniature orchids many times from Trader Joe's, and they're still doing really well at my apartment, but this one, two plants in a single pot, that has never happened before, and for the, re uh, the regular price that I pay, I feel that I'm getting either a 50% off or a buy one get one free. So what made me want to do this video is I'm thinking since I have never done full water culture before and because these two plants, I see them as twins. So far, they must have received the same kind of care, condition, even shocks from you know change of environment from Trader Joe's to my place everything being equal and they're the same type of orchid I think this is a very good opportunity for me to make an experiment because um, I've never done full water culture before or even semi water culture I've always grown my or uh, half my orchids the traditional way have them potted um, in either plastic cups um, with ventilation holes on the sides or ceramic pots, clay pots. So um, I'm making this short video just to document that, hey, for $6, I actually for the first time get two orchids in the same pot. And, and another thing that's interesting about this particular purchase is that somehow these two orchids are fully potted within this clay pot, meaning they don't come with a plastic cup because I was trying to pull them out um, when I was at the grocery store just to look at their root system and I couldn't be, I couldn't, I couldn't do it because I couldn't pull them out. They do not come with a, um, the plastic cup, the flimsy soft plastic cup because uh, usually most of them, they are, they're grown in those, you know, packed with sphagnum moss very tightly. Um, but this one, somehow, it's just so different, so not normal. So anyway, um, overall, I, you know, it's a f almost white phalaenopsis with a hint of purple or violet. And they are doing really, the flowers are doing really well each for each flower spike. Um, they, they both just have one more but for each flower spike yet to open. So um, for now, I think I'm, because they just come from my, um, they just come to my place today. It's the first shock. So I do intend to enjoy the flower for a little bit more. And once the flowers are all gone, I'm gonna soak the, the pot, the media, soak the sphagnum moss very well so that it's easier for me to pull them out and then I will separate them and go through um, the regular routine for repotting meaning I will probably use hydrogen peroxide just to set, um, make sure that there is no pests or anything um, that I don't want um, in the roots in the pot and then I will repot them one of them I'm gonna pot it the way that I've always done it, and then the other one is gonna do, uh, is gonna undergo a, a, a shock, a slightly shock, meaning full water culture, just for me to try it out and see if that's gonna work in my environment. Um, so anyway, this is a short video just to document this, and in a couple months, I would like to do an update to show you guys how 
well they do and whether water, water, um, full water culture is actually going to work in my, in my environment for Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay, I hope you all do well. Happy growing orchids. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.